Welcome back. The objective of this video is to learn how to sketch graphs of polynomial functions. So our first sample here, we're asked to sketch a graph of the function 3x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. So the first thing we want to do is apply the leading coefficient test and see if we know what the end behavior of this graph is. We know that our exponent is even, it's 4, and our a is positive. Our exponent is even, we know that our end behavior is going to be the same. They're both going to go uh, to negative infinity or to positive infinity. And because our leading coefficient is positive, then we know our graph is going to look something like this with the end behavior of both going towards positive infinity. And we also know it's going to be a little flatter at the bottom. We saw that earlier because we're a fourth degree polynomial. So the next thing we want to do here is find the real zeros. So we'll do that by factoring. So we set our function equal to zero and we factor that. We can factor out an x cubed leaving us with 3x minus 4. So in at most we can have four real zeros. Well, three of them are here. We're at, at zero. So we get x equals zero, and that's going to be a triple root. So we have, we have an odd number of roots at zero, so we know we're going to pass through the origin. Okay. And our other zero is at x equals 4 thirds. So our zeros are the origin and 4 thirds zero. So let's go ahead and plot those points. Now, we may want to plot a few additional points, but we can think about this as well. We can think about our graph. Well, we have a, a triple root, so we've applied the multiplicity of zeros. So we know that we're going to pass through the origin. We also know our end behavior. We know that because our graph is going to look like an upward opening parabola and we only have the two x-intercepts here, we don't really need to do any testing or check any values to, for x to the left of zero because we know our end behavior is going to head in the towards positive infinity that way. We also know that we don't have any x-intercepts to the right of 4 thirds. We also know that that's also going to go towards positive infinity. So we know our end behavior on this side. So we don't have to check any x's that are greater than 4 thirds. We also know there's not going to be any points between 0 and 4 thirds that are in the positive y's because both of these x-intercepts are passed through because we have an odd number uh, at 0 and an odd number of intercepts at 4 thirds. So we know our graph has to pass through here. So we know it's going to come down in this direction. So we know if we test with our intermediate value theorem, if we test x equals 1, we are going to get something that's in a, a negative y. So a real quick test of that, and we get 1 times uh, negative 1, and we get an output of negative 1. So when we input 1, we output negative 1. Now we don't really care too, too much, because this is a sketch, of what happens here between 0 and 1 and what happens between 1 and 4 thirds. We know we're going to pass through. We have to hit that point, And we know we're going to pass through 4 thirds coming the other way. So our graph is going to look something like that. In sample 2, we're going to do the exact same kind of thing. We're going to use our same knowledge of end behavior. We're going to use our knowledge of roots. We've got a cubic here, so we know our cubic function. Our parent function is going to look something like that. 
the leading coefficient test because n is odd and a is positive, well, that does confirm what we're going to have. Our n behaviors are going to be in opposite directions, and we've got a cubic, so it's going to mimic our cubic. We want to find the real zeros of this, so we have to factor. So we set our function equal to 0. It looks like we can factor out a 2x squared, and we're left with x minus 3. We've got a double root at x equals 0, so that our graph is going to bounce at the origin. So the origin, we've got an intercept that'll bounce, and we also have an x-intercept at x equals 3, and that is going to be a pass-through. So let's go ahead and sketch those points. Now we know our end behavior, looking at our sketch up here, we know that the graph, all the x's to the right of 3, have to be above the x-axis and are going to head towards positive infinity. And we know everything to the left of 0 is going to be, since we're bouncing off 0, is going to head back down in the negative direction. We also know, since this is a pass-through, that 3 is a pass-through, our graph is going to end up in the negative, and for values of 1 and 2, we're going to get negative outputs. We're going to be down here somewhere. We're not really sure what that looks like, but we know it's going to be down there, and it's going to come back here, and it's going to bounce off of that origin. Now, it would be nice to test, so we'll go ahead and test 1 and 2. So we'll go ahead and test 1, and we 2 times negative 2, so we get negative 4. Then we'll test 2, and 4 times 2, we get 8 times negative 1, so we get negative 8. So when x is 1, y is negative 4. And when x is 2, our y is negative 8. So our graph looks something like that. So that dipped a lot farther than I expected it to. But there is a sketch of our cubic. So it looks like we've got a relative max here at the origin at 0, 0. And somewhere down here, we'll have a relative minimum, somewhere around 2, negative 8. We'll have a relative minimum. But we aren't asked to do that. So, so there is a couple of samples on how to sketch a graph of a polynomial. And we'll get some more practice with that when I see you in class.